This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos, and we're going to do a, a linear programming problem and actually pick up right where we left off. Uh, we just found the feasible region by using these inequalities. Now the next step is to locate the vertices. The vertices are these corner points. In other words, it's the corner points of our quadrilateral. So in this case, we have a four-sided figure and we're going to have to figure out what are all the corner points. It turns out that uh, our answer has a lot to do with finding uh, and using actually these four corner points. All right, well, I'm going to start over here at this corner point. Uh, it turns out that we already know something about that point. We know it's on the line x equals 20, so I know the x value is 20. Uh, we also know that it's on the x-axis, so that means the y value is 0. So we've got that point. Um, let's see, we've got some easy points to find. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is probably another easy point for us to locate. Uh, that point right there, we know the x value is 100. We could see it right looking at the graph. As a matter of fact, it was one of the points on our table when we graphed the line. Um, matter of fact, it was this line right here. Okay, And we know that the y value is 0 because it's on the x-axis. Right, it's right there at the y value 0. All right, that takes care of that. Uh, let's see, we've got another point over here. So I'm going to extend a little line over here so we know where that goes to. So we know that also that the x value is 20. And now the hard part is getting a y value here. All right, now this is where it's going to get eh, a little bit more complicated. Uh, we know that it's on this line. That's where I got the 20 from. It's on the x equals 20 line right there. Um, but also it's on this other line. Now this is the other line. x plus 3y is equal to 150. All right, now what we're going to do, at least what you should do here, is put in the 20 for x. So we're going to substitute. And I'm going to show the work off here off to the side. So I'm going to put uh, over here, probably put a little arrow so we can kind of figure out what's happening. I'm going to put a 20 in for x. Well, here's the equation, 3y. And I'm just going to talk about the line. I'm not going to do the shading, so that's why I'm not looking at the inequality. Just looking at the line. So I'm going to put in x is 20. And I'm going to do some algebra. I do algebra to calculate what that point is. All right. So first thing you do is subtract 20 from both sides. Subtract 20 there, you're going to get 130. Okay, now we divide both sides by 3. I'm not showing all the steps, leaving off the simple algebra. But if you divide by 3, you're going to get 43 and a third. In other words, 43.33333 repeating threes. So there you go, there's the y value. So the y value there we know now is 43 and a third. 43.3333. All right, now let's find our last point. So here's the last point, probably the hardest point to find, because there's nothing obvious that we know about this point. So we basically have to take these two, these two equations, and we have to solve a system of equations. What I'm going to do is actually take the second equation here and subtract the first equation. So I'm going to take x, subtract x, I'm going to take 3y, subtract y, I'm going to take 150, and subtract 100. So I'm subtracting the two equations. Uh, of course, you can plop this into calculator. There's many ways to do this, but if you do that, if you do exactly what I said, take x minus x, the x cancels, 3y minus y is 2y, 150 minus 100 is 50. Got that. So now we've got an equation with one letter. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And I get the y value. y is equal to 25. All right, so I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put 25 is the y value. All right, now the next step is trying to figure out what the x value is. And this turns out to be um, relatively simple because look at this equation right here, right? You know, that's that's this equation right here, 
Remember this equation that goes along here? We know that together x and y has got to be equal to 100 if you're on the line. So that means if y is 25, what plus 25 is 100? It's got to be 75. 75 plus 25 is 100. So I know that that's 75. They have to add up to be 100 if they're on the line. And there you go. Have it. So now I've got all of my vertices, and there are four vertices. There's one vertex, another vertex, vertex number three. If I was going to number it, I guess, this would be number four. So there's four points because it is a quadrilateral. All right, now if you see, uh, take a look at our next video. Our next video is then going to show you how we're going to use these vertices to calculate the maximum and the minimum uh, for profit. Okay, so take a look at our next video, and we'll show you that part of the process of linear programming. Make sure you go to mathguide.com, check out our interactive quizzes, uh, all our lessons, and our activities. Take care.